Hello, I'm Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and OnlineFirstAid.com and today I wanted to tell you about an outbreak of some toxic caterpillars and how to recognise these are the particularly dangerous caterpillars and what to do if you see them and how to prevent yourself being affected. So people um, in London and the South East are particularly affected at the moment but it's also um, they've been seen elsewhere in the UK and they are causing serious problems, particularly people that um, are allergic to them. Uh, they are toxic to humans and um, if you are asthmatic as well, they can cause you to have a very serious asthmatic um, asthma attack or they can cause you to um, experience anaphylactic shock. They are the toxic oak processionary moth caterpillars. Um, they can cause extreme eye irritation, skin rashes, vomiting, and um, trigger any form of anaphylaxis or acute allergic reaction and asthma attacks. Um, they have 62,000 hairs um, and the hair follicles um, contain the proteins which causes these serious allergic reactions. Now, the creatures, hair follicles can fall out and they shed these hairs on the ground and they can remain active in the ground for up to five years. So they discolor, they become part of the sort of ground um, side of things. So long after these caterpillars themselves have gone on and disappeared, their hair follicles can continue to cause you a serious allergic reaction. So several gardeners have reported being very unwell um, and some have um, been seriously, seriously unwell as a result of it. So anyone um, walking in woods um, and forests needs to make sure that they do avoid these caterpillars. Um, they are now, uh, at the moment, they're in Greater London, they're particularly in Kensington, um, Kingston on Pond Thames and Brent, Bracknell Forest, Slough, Guildford, but as I've said before, they're also throughout, um, throughout the UK. Um, so the Forestry Commission is issuing severe warnings about this. Um, the caterpillars themselves, they move in a procession. They move nose to tail along in a procession. Um, they are oak tree caterpillars, um, so they're predominantly around oak trees um, and they may be in the ground under oak trees. Um, they have very long white hairs and much shorter, um, um, much shorter hairs as well and there will be a post on my blog where you'll be able to see a picture. Um, they're first spotted around mid-April um, and the Forestry Commission are doing a very serious um, treatment schedule to try and eradicate um, the larvae um, before they're too big to be killed. Um, so they are trying to identify quickly where there is a problem and try and get to them as quickly as possible. Once they get too big, then they're actually too big to be affected by um, the larvae killing stuff that they use. Um, so the, the key is that um, these hairs, when they come out, can remain um, just in the foliage. So if you've got children kicking the leaves around or playing or you're sitting having a picnic under an oak tree, you could get affected by them. Don't touch or approach the nests of the caterpillars. Don't let children touch or approach the nests of the caterpillars and keep animals away from them too. If you see any sightings, the Forestry Commission have asked you to um, alert them to it so that they can go and treat them. And if you are affected by it, you need to get treatment for your allergic reaction as quickly as possible. If it's a mild allergic reaction, then you should find that a, um, a good antihistamine, so a pyroton or a fexofenadine, will actually work. It takes about 15 minutes to work, but it should um, relieve a lot of your symptoms. Um, if you are seriously affected, if you have an EpiPen or um, an adrenaline auto-injector, you may well need to use that. Um, if you are asthmatic, you may find that your asthma pump isn't working as effectively for you as it should do because the allergic reaction is so strong. If you have an EpiPen as well, you should use that and you should get medical help as quickly as possible. 
I hope that's been helpful. That's Emma Hammett from First Aid for Life and onlinefirstaid.com.